everybody and welcome to Symphony Moor Allotments once again and here we are on this beautiful sunny day and we are doing our Grow With Us project which is series two episode two and it's this year we're doing the dwarf beans which are the little bushes that grow the beautiful fine green beans that you can buy in your shops but you can grow these in your garden and they're just lovely to pick right throughout the summer probably right till the end of uh, September even October you'd be picking them so it'd be lovely so last time we did in the series one sorry episode one what we did we showed you how to make your pots and how to plant your bean keep it warm let it germinate and let it grow to a certain height so we've done that and here we are these are the beans that we've been uh, looking after and as you can see now they've all grown up quite nicely some are bigger than others but that doesn't matter they all catch up eventually there's a little baby one there they're all fine to to plant they'll all catch up and they'll all produce beautiful beans for you so today I'm going to now just show you simply how to plant these and how to look after them while they're growing. Okay, so let me just get on and show you how to do these. First of all, you find your pot where you want them to go. Now just remember, these ones are self-fertilizing. Now that means they don't need to be next to each other to pollinate. Um, so you can have, if you're really restricted on space around your garden, you can literally have one there, one there, one there, it doesn't matter. Um, if you do have the room to put a little clump together, it's quite nice because it makes it easy when you're picking, the, when you're picking all the vegetables, but that's all really. Um, so they're quite happy to be on their own. But to give you an idea, they'll grow to be about this big and about that, that wide really. They're just pretty little bushes in your garden, you'll hardly even notice they're there. Anyway, so you take, take your bean, in its pot, we're gonna plant the whole pot. So first thing you need to do is just prepare your ground. So dig it over, take out any stones. You don't want those, they're not gonna help at all. Um, so dig all the soil out, break it up a little bit, give it half a chance. Now you need to make it a little bit deeper than the whole thing. So um, what we're gonna do is put some nice compost at the bottom. So that'll lift it back up again. Um, and that'll give it a little bit of a good start because now all that compost in there, is, there's nothing left in it. There's no food. It's all gone. So you definitely need to be looking at refeeding. So I've got some home, we've got this as our homemade compost. Um, basically just drop a big handful in the base and just before you plot it, pot it, just see if you, when these are really wet, they're very easy. So make sure these pots are wet before you do it. Just rip off very carefully because this one's got roots coming through or open it up, the very base, and that'll just help it establish itself in the ground. So peel it back, you can take it off if you want, or you can leave it on, but can you see there, Kev? I don't know if you can see against my dark glove, but basically you've got some lovely little white uh, roots growing and it's a very, very healthy plant. We're not gonna damage any more of the roots, we're gonna put it straight in with its little pot. Now the main thing is here is you need to sort of be putting it into the top so you're covering the paper up. You don't want the paper showing. You basically need to do that. So pop it in, backfill it. So you're just basically pushing all back the soil, just slightly firming as you go, not too firm. Don't, don't go too firm because it'll be like rock and it won't grow in rock. So just loosely put it on, pull it all in and cover it all up. And then once you've done yet again, another big handful of your compost, any compost will do, any multi-purpose. Make sure that goes all the way around the top of the carton that you've put in and it's all covered up. And that's basically all you need to do next is give it a water. Now that, that'll sort it out, get it established. Make sure that in this weather um, you keep it well watered. If it's really hot every day, each night, give it a good soak. Um, don't overwater it, it's still only a baby plant, but make sure that it's got plenty of water. You'll probably find that the top inch or so of your soil dries out every day, but underneath it could still be fairly damp. So maybe just a, a little sprinkling every night, be lovely. So the next thing we'll do is show you some later on, just as they're growing, probably in a week or so's time. Okay, see you later. Right, so here we are, Kevin. So we've now a couple of weeks on, and basically what we've got here is the beans. I know I put them on a different place earlier, but I've actually put my beans together. And this has been a couple of weeks now. And as you can see, they're loving the ground. They've still got a little bit of the compost. 
we're watering them in this heat we're watering them daily so um, as you can see they're all coming on lovely and this is what you can be expecting in, in even a week they'll, they'll come up lovely so good luck with your plants everybody and uh, we'll come back to you for seri for sorry for episode three when we'll actually be picking the harvest we'll show you how to cook it and how to store it and freeze it meanwhile have a super summer and we'll see you again soon bye bye kev bye bye dawn Thank you.